Hello, everyone. Uh, so today I'm reviewing two whistles that were sent to me by Misha Somerville, uh, MK Whistles in Scotland. Um, these are the two different models that Misha is currently making. Um, so I'm going to review the MK Pro whistle first, and, uh, and then I'm going to review the Kelpie and you'll be able to hopefully hear some of the differences in sound between the two whistles. So this is the MK Pro first. This is a, a red satin model. These go for about 200 pounds sterling. And this is how it sounds. So that's the MK Pro. And then this is the new model uh, that MK Whistles has just started making recently. This is the Water Kelpie. And uh, these go for about uh, 100 pounds sterling. And they sound like this. <laughs> I love MK whistles, so I'm really happy to be able to do a review of these two instruments. Um, so as you could hear, the the two whistles, they're slightly different designs, and so they have slightly different sounds. In some ways, they're very, very similar. In some ways, they're very, very different. Um, I think of the original, the MK Pro, um, there's a lot of clarity of tone, but at the same time, there's a bit more complexity, maybe, than the Kelpie, and this is kind of Misha's original sound and uh, design for his whistles. And obviously, this instrument is uh, a bit more expensive, about um, 200 pounds sterling for the satin finished models and about 250 pounds sterling for the polished models. And then we have the Kelpie, and the Kelpie is a design that was uh, put together basically to have uh, an instrument that could be sold for a, a lower price, people that maybe didn't have uh, the sort of finances to get one of the uh, pro models would still be able to afford a very good whistle. But at the same time, this whistle is still very much up to the, the very high standards of quality of all of the MK whistles that I have played. Um, it's a great whistle. Uh, it's not tunable, as you can see. It's just one single solid piece of tubing. Um, the sound, to my ears, is maybe a little bit less complex than the, uh, the MK Pro, and um, it has maybe just a little bit more back pressure, uh, I think, than the, uh, than the MK Pro. But at the same time, there's a little bit more clarity to the sound. It reminds me a little bit more of classic glow whistles, like uh, maybe the, in the Overton or Chieftain mode. But it, it still has a lot of that MK sound. Uh, it, it's still very much uh, in the vein of the, the more expensive whistles that Misha is making. So they're both really fabulous instruments, and I think it really comes down to your personal preference of uh, what kind of sound you like out of a low whistle. The, the MK Pro is a little smokier, and the, uh, the Kelpie is maybe a little little more clear, they play a little bit differently, but uh, both really fabulous whistles, and uh, I can't recommend either of them enough. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks to Misha Somerville for uh, making and providing such wonderful whistles, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot.